Hey gorgeous, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly Lenora and welcome to episode three of Drugstore January. We're doing a foundation wear test. I love a foundation wear test. If you've been watching me, if you are a tried and true rock star, then you know foundation is like my absolute favorite. So today let's test out the new Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation. Um, this is from NYX, it is new. Mine is in the shade South Beige. If you haven't, subscribe and let's do some more drugstore January. Yoohoo! Big summer blowout. Name that movie. Okay, so let's get right down to business, okay? We are going to start with some, well, actually, we're gonna get this hair back first. And our skincare is done for the morning. And don't mind my lashes, it's time for me to do a new set. I still love the Foscaras. It's just that time that, you know, I need to do a new set. I probably should have done that before this video, but you know what? I'm not perfect, okay? <laughs> that may be shocking, but I'm not. Okay, so hair is back. Let's just nix it all the way. This is the Plump Right Back Plumping Serum, and I have had this for a while. It's not new, but I think it came out around the same time as the uh, Marshmallow Primer, which was a really big hit. I have that one as well, but I'm feeling this one today because it's really good for just if you're feeling kind of dull skin-wise, you just maybe didn't get good sleep or whatever, this is really good to just kind of awaken your skin, give it that moisture that it needs to plump up and have us looking refreshed and awake. So... It is a serum-like texture. It looks like it would be a smoothing primer, pore-feeling primer, and it does a good job, but it's definitely not. It's more jelly texture, serum-y. Get the forehead. And it has a really nice amount of tackiness, so your makeup staying all day is, is an easy, what in the world? So your makeup staying all day is a definite with this serum and everything will be linked down below always when you're working of course you should do skincare and like a primer but always when you're working in layers like that give your products um, 30 seconds to a minute to kind of soak in if you don't do that you're just kind of like muddling your products together and then they're not gonna be able to perform the way you want them to okay so let's jump right into this this is the NYX from the bear with me line Blur, a blurring tint foundation. I got the shade Soft Beige, and it says it's a medium coverage matte blurred finish. So I'm still trying to understand the tint and medium coverage, where they're finding that that comes together. I don't know, whatever, maybe, I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. It's a $14 foundation and it is smoothing. It has matcha, glycerin, and niacinamide in there. So those are all skin loving ingredients that will, you know, skincare and looking flawless as we go. So let's open her up and just go right into it. So we're gonna do one half with a brush and then the other half with a beauty blender. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a brush. We're just going with a Morphe foundation brush. I'm gonna start with that much and we will see I'm not even sure if this is 100% the correct shade, but... So it has like a moussey, whipped look. Okay, a little bit did a good number. You saw how much I put on there. I've still got a little bit on my hand here. Let's kind of hit right below the under eye. And this product is vegan and cruelty free. 24 shades are available. It's a matte finish. So application process, a breeze, at least with the brush. It went right on. And it looks very lightweight. The medium coverage looks very nice. What do we think? That looks good. I still see a little bit of my redness peeking through, but this is a buildable formula as well. So let's see if we can, let's see what a little bit more would do and just like a hair more. Let's see if it will give it a good cover up. Not that I dislike it, but we're just testing out the product. Not that I dislike the redness. Major difference. And it's actually not too matte. Some matte products can really look um, 
We did a good job covering that little guy. Really look powdery, and I try to avoid that. I don't mind powdery, a powder look under my eyes, but all over I think it's a bit much. It looks good. Let's go in with a beauty blender on this side. So the beauty blender, of course, is going to be a more concentrated, more coverage type application. It still looks really, really good. Like, yeah, that, that redness went, quick, went away quicker than this side with the brush. So that, with that being said, it's all on what type of coverage you want. This is really nice. It applies really well. So really good for that um, gal on the go that just wants to apply and get out not be, you know, meticulous or have the time to sit in front of the mirror for two hours or even an hour. I'm going to go over with a beauty blender and I did not hit my under eyes because I'm trying to put less there, but I am going to conceal it. I'm just going over this side with a beauty blender just in case there's any streaking. I think that's always good insurance on how your skin looks. That's a good thing to do. Now let's take a look. That was... Just one layer. We didn't use a lot at all. Everything looks really blurred. So I would say this is definitely blurring, smoothing, kind of giving us that airbrushed look. Let me throw on some concealer. So to keep it drugstore, we are going to go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is not new, but you can still purchase it. I saw it at my Target recently. This is really bright. Since it's kind of, this is giving me that everyday vibe, I'm not gonna go too heavy or glammy. Well, I say that, but <laughs> you already know. Are you okay? I just dropped you guys. We're good. I feel like I want a little more coverage. This stuff blends out like a dream. Okay, so, so far, everything is playing really well together. Um, I do need to do a little bit of setting down and stuff like that. But as far as primer, foundation, and concealer, we're, we're looking good. We're, you know, coming into what would possibly be a very nice makeup look. So, I just need to do some setting and, you know, finish my face. And I'll be right back. I'm back. It is 12.06 in the afternoon. And I think I'm going to wear this for, I don't know if I'll do a full eight hour. I might do like four hours of a wear test. Um, I came across a little problem. Not even with the blurring tint foundation, but honestly with the elf concealer and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it looks a whole hot mess all through there it is patchy and boy it just looks not so good at all but of course I'm not gonna fault the foundation for that I don't know even what happened like you can see right there I'm not sure what happened. So I'm already like not happy with this, which is why I'm not going to do like all of the, the full eight hours. Um, but I do want to test out this and this looks really good. It's beautiful everywhere else, but where I put that concealer. Like, yeah, I'm going to toss that concealer. I don't know what happened, but no, that is frustrating. If you watch me, then you probably know how it is to like, you're doing your makeup, everything's great. And then one product messes messes something up so like my forehead looks beautiful my upper lip everything else looks really really pretty and it feels lightweight so for four hours I'm not gonna touch it we will see how this holds up and yeah I'll, I'll see you in a sec in in a couple four hours okay hi beautiful it is 3 15 so I am a little bit early to do the check-in but I've got some things I gotta do and I want to wash this off and do a fresh face um this is a good foundation for the everyday wear 
This is inexpensive, it blended in easily, and it looks very lightweight and very, very skin-like. I will say if you choose to try this out and run errands or go to work, you may want to take your favorite setting powder because I did notice just a little bit of separation on my upper lip and I only noticed that in my magnified mirror, so it's it was nothing major. I mean, it's barely even visible. Of course, what's messed up is from my concealer, but that's fine. You know, we're not testing the concealer. We are testing this, and honestly, I approve of it. I will wear this for an everyday look. Holly approved. If you have textured skin, you really need to look into this. Thank you so, so much for watching me and joining me in January. No, drugstore January. <laughs> there it is. If you have not already, I would love it if you would subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye.